Okay, so for the last piece of chapter 2, it is subtopic 2.4, which is about bond haber cycle. Here's the learning outcomes for subtopic 2.4. By the end of the lesson, you should know how to define the lattice energy and electron affinity. Explain the following effects on the magnitude of lattice energy, such as ionic charges and ionic radius, and constructs one have a cycle for simple ionic solids using energy cycle diagram. And lastly, calculate the enthalpy changes by using one have a cycle. Okay guys, so before kita nak masuk pasal bond haber cycle, you kena tahu dulu pasal electron affinity because electron affinity ni akan termasuk di dalam cycle bond haber. Okay, so by definition, electron affinity ni ialah heat change bila satu mole of gaseous atom, for example, if let's say you ada oxygen atom, satu mole di dalam gas phase, bila dia gain satu mole of electron and then dia akan form satu mole of gaseous ion. Okay, that is the first electron affinity. Okay, uh, tetapi for the second electron uh, affinity, it will always be positive because the energy is absorbed by the electron to overcome the repulsion forces between the approaching electron and the negatively charged ion. Okay, because electron affinity yang kedua ni, uh, dia berlaku kalau di sila contohnya oksigen, kita tahu oksigen ni secara lumrahnya, Kalau dia jadi ion, it must be O2 minus. Okay, tapi tak boleh terus buat oxygen pluskan dengan uh, dua kali, dua mol of electron dapat O2 minus. No, nope, you cannot do that. So, uh, kalau daripada oxygen nak dapatkan O2 minus, you kena go through the first electron affinity where the product you akan dapat satu mol of gases ion. Okay, dengan negatively charged single negatively charged, okay, and after that, if let's say you want to make this oxygen atom into O2 minus, you need to buat second electron affinity, okay, so bila dia nak buat second electron affinity, dia akan jadi positif, dia punya energy, okay, sebab kenapa uh, electron tu dia nak overcome the repulsion forces between the electron and also the negatively charged ion. Okay, so kalau let's say you nak buat the second electron of affinity ni, only for the atom bila dia jadi ion tu more than one. Uh, macam ni, oxygen kita tahu dia memang secara lumrah dia, ion dia ialah O2 minus. So what can you do here, you, in the second electron affinity, you ambil the single uh, single negative charge that you have formed from the first electron affinity and then you add another one mole of electron to form uh, apa tu double negative okay dapat charge negative 2 okay the next energy cycle yang terlibat di dalam bond haber cycle ni ialah Lattice energy. Okay, lattice energy ada dua. Lattice energy of formation and also lattice dissociation energy. Basically, this is the important one. Okay, kalau let's say dalam soalan dia tanya the definition. Okay, kalau soalan tanya definition of lattice energy. So, you keluarkan sahaja definition lattice energy of formation. Okay. Uh, sebab this is the main uh, this is the main definition for lattice energy. So, lattice energy of formation or lattice energy ialah the energy released when one mole of a solid ionic compound, okay, this is one mole of a solid ionic compound, is formed from its gaseous ions. Okay, how do you know that this is a solid ionic compound? Because bond yang terhasil between Na dan juga Cl ni ialah ionic bond, okay? Uh, because ionic bond tu terhasil bila electrostatic force between negatively charged ion and positively charged ion. Okay, so this one mole of solid ionic compound terhasil daripada dia punya gaseous ions. Okay, and the ions must be in gas phase. Alright, so since that dia cakap energy is released, so you need to put negative in front of the enthalpy. But this is the enthalpy of formation. Sebab enthalpy of formation by definition kena energy release okay it must be energy release okay kalau kita terbalikkan equation ni okay if we terbalikkan equation ni dia akan jadi lattice dissociation energy 
Uh, bila kita terbalikkan equation ni, makanya kita dia akan entropy of lattice ni jadi negatif lah because we reverse. Okay, how do we get this negative? How do we get this? Because we reverse the equation. Okay. Because pada asalnya, kalau entropy lattice dia memang kena negative because energy release. But then, bila kita reverse the equation, we need to put minus at the front. So, minus dengan minus akan jadi positive. Okay. So, if lattice dissociation energy ni maksudnya energy required to completely separate one mole of a solid ionic compound into its gaseous ion. So, kiranya energy yang diperlukan bila nak separatekan solid ionic compound into dia punya gaseous ions. Alright. So, uh, in this case, kalau lattice energy of formation ni, kita akan gunakan dia di dalam bond haber cycle. Okay. We will use this kegunaan dia, kita akan guna dia di dalam bond haber cycle. So, bila kita guna lattice dissociation energy ni, okay, we use this, we use lattice dissociation energy bila kita nak solvekan, bila kita nak cari entropy of solution punya cycle. Okay. Di dalam entropy of solution punya cycle, you ingat lagi tak previously we have entropy of solution punya cycle di mana uh, entropy of solution ke atas, okay, kat bawah ni Entropy of lattice ke atas ni naik entropy of hydration. Kan? Okay, so entropy of lattice ni di dalam uh, dissolution, okay, di dalam proses dissolution of ionic crystal ataupun ionic solid. Contohnya NaCl. Uh, proses dissolution tu bila kita nak tahu entropy of solution lah kan kita akan buat dissolution cycle tu ke atas target equation entropy of solution turun bawah entropy lattice naik atas entropy hydration tapi you perasan tak yang turun bawah entropy lattice tu bukan lattice formation tau dia lattice dissociation okay uh, key, key dia kat sini kalau let's say dia turun bawah okay bermaksud lattice dissociation energy Okay, lattice dissociation. Uh, sebab itulah kalau you buat previously kita buat cycle of dissolution of ionic crystal ni, uh, kita letak minus kat depan. Okay, kita letak minus kat depan siap-siap. Sebab kenapa? Uh, itu adalah lattice dissociation. Tapi kalau nanti you nak buat bond haber cycle, nanti Miss akan tunjuklah cycle dia. Kalau bond haber cycle, cycle dia different pula. Ke atas kena letak entropy of formation ok, uh, lepas tu nanti turun bawah, turun bawah turun bawah tu, uh, atomization ionization energy, electron affinity, lepas tu bawah sekali ialah lattice energy ok, energy lattice baru naik atas, uh, so bila lattice tu, bila dia naik atas that's why dia jadi lattice formation. So, in bond haber cycle, kita akan gunakan lattice energy of formation. Di dalam dissolution of ionic crystal, we will be using the lattice dissociation energy. Okay? So, if you look at here, kalau let's say, daripada gaseous ions and we want to form a one mole of ionic crystal solid, That is what we call as the lattice energy of formation, okay? And it must be negative because the enthalpy lattice of formation, dia cakap energy release, okay? While, kalau kita daripada NaCl, dissociate jadi gaseous ions, that is lattice dissociation. Kalau lattice dissociation, since kita terbalikkan, di Uh, dia punya definition and kita terbalikkan dia punya chemical equation therefore dia akan jadi positif ok uh, you present tak kat sini dia punya magnitude dia sama je magnitude tu kiranya value value of the enthalpy lattice sama but yang berubah hanyalah dia punya sign sahaja sebab yang satu ni indicates uh, lattice formation Because by definition, lattice formation mestilah energy release. Tapi bila kita terbalikkan equation, dia akan jadi lattice dissociation and the negative ni bila terbalikkan jadi positif. Next, Miss nak terangkan sikit lah pasal entropy of lattice energy ni. Okay, uh, entropy of lattice energy ni, 
Kalau relationship dia dengan the size of the ion ataupun the ionic distance ataupun ionic radii, kiranya size of ion lah ni. Okay, semakin kecil the size of the ionic radii, okay, the size of the ion, semakin tinggi, semakin besar dia punya enthalpy lattice energy. Alright, and also the relationship between the charge of the ion and also the enthalpy lattice ni ialah directly proportional, kiranya Uh, semakin besar the charge of the ion, semakin tinggi dia punya enthalpy lattice energy. Kenapa kita nak uh, pentingkan sangat dengan magnitude of lattice energy ni? Because the larger the enthalpy lattice energy ni, the stable the ionic compounds tersebut. Okay? And also the higher the strength of the ionic bonds in the ionic crystal. Uh, ionic crystal ni it can be anything yang ada positively charged ion and negatively charged ion. KCl ke... Eh... And then dia kena crystal kan. Uh, so, contohnya uh, NaCl, KCl. Uh, so, kita bolehlah study the effect of uh, these two on the ionic compounds here based on the lattice energy. Okay, now let's study the effect of the ionic distance ataupun charges with the magnitude of enthalpy lattice energy. Okay, when I talk about magnitude, kita jangan kisahkan pasal negative sign ni. Okay, when I talk about magnitude, I don't want you to look at the negative sign. I want you to look at the figure here. Who has the larger figure? Okay, you ada ionic compound kat sini, NaCl dengan NaBr. How do you know that this is ionic compound? Because Na charge positive, Cl negative. Uh, Br pun charge negative, negatively charge uh, ion before that and A pun dia positive. Okay, so uh, if you look at the magnitude of these ionic compounds punya lattice energy, we can see here that NaCl has the higher magnitude which is 776 higher magnitude compared to NaBr. Why? Okay, so sekarang ni kita you recall balik apakah faktor yang mempengaruhi the magnitude of enthalpy lattice? Ada berapa faktor? Ada dua. Yang pertama ialah faktor ionic radii. Okay. Yang kedua ialah faktor ionic charge. Okay. Sekarang kalau you nak tahu what kind of factors yang mempengaruhi uh, the difference in magnitude here, Okay, you rungkaikan. You tengok ionic radii. Okay, the ionic radius of NaCl dengan Br berbeza-beza. Since that Na ni macam something yang constant. So, jangan tengok Na lah. Kita tengok pada Cl dengan Br. We can see here, size of Cl minus is smaller than Br minus. Okay, and how about dia punya ionic charge? Ionic charge diorang ni sama je. Okay, all of their ionic charge ionic charge, diorang semua sama which all of them is equals to 1 kan, Na plus 1, Cl minus 1, Br minus 1 so ionic charge dia tak, uh, tak factor tu tak ambil kira, factor tu cancel in this uh, matter so sekarang ni, the only factor yang kita boleh ambil kira in this matter ialah ionic radii, so we can see here that the ionic radius for Cl minus is smaller than Br minus, since that Okay, previously we know that the relationships between enthalpy of lattice and also ionic radii ni ialah inversely proportional. While um, the relationship between enthalpy lattice dengan ionic charge ialah directly proportional. Okay, so kita kalau let's say semakin kecil the size of the ion, semakin besar dia punya magnitude of the enthalpy lattice. Therefore, due to the fact of... Uh, The relationship between enthalpy of lattice energy dengan ionic radii or ionic distance ni is inversely proportional and we can see here the size of Cl minus is smaller than Br minus. Therefore, we can deduce here that the enthalpy lattice of NaCl is greater than the enthalpy lattice of NaBr. Okay, so if you look at this example, kita ada tiga jenis ionic compound yang berbeza. We have LIF, NaCl and also KBr. Okay, and masing-masing ada enthalpy lattice energy yang berbeza. As usual, when you want to compare the enthalpy lattice energy, jangan tengok dekat negative sign, you tengok the 
the magnitude. Okay, you tengok the numbers. Okay, macam antipilates untuk LIF, the number, the magnitude ialah 1037, and SCL 786, KBR 671. Okay, so you ignore je sekejap dia punya negative ni, sign ni. So, um, and kat sini, kita boleh compare kan, uh, the ionic radius of F minus actually is the smallest. Okay, smaller compared to CL minus ionic radius of CL minus and also the ionic radius of PR minus. Okay, and we know that the relationships between enthalpy of lattice is inversely proportional to the ionic distance ataupun ionic radii. Therefore, we know that the enthalpy lattice of LIF is the greatest among uh, NACL and juga KBR. Okay, so kat sini pun, factor yang memainkan peranan the uh, greater the magnitude of the enthalpy lattice here ialah factor apa? Factor ionic distance. Sebab charge mereka sama je. Semua equals to 1. Walaupun dia positif 1, negatif 1, semua equals to 1. Ah, for this example, dia suruh kamu explain kenapa enthalpy lattice of MgO actually more negative than enthalpy lattice of Na2O. Kat sini kita tahulah enthalpy lattice for MgO ni kalau dia kata more negative tu maksudnya dia punya magnitude dia lagi besar daripada Na2O. Okay, so bila you tahu magnitude of enthalpy lattice MgO lagi besar daripada Na2O, kalau you nak kena explain, you kena ingat balik apakah faktor yang mempengaruhi the magnitude of enthalpy lattice ada dua. Okay, yang pertama Uh, to recall back, yang pertama apa? Yang pertama ialah ionic radii ataupun ionic size. Radii. Okay, and then yang kedua ialah the ionic charge. Okay. Kalau let's say ionic radii, kalau kat sini dia tak bagi langsung, um, dia tak bagi tahu pun the size of the ions for Mg, for O, Na dengan O ni kan. Okay, what you can do here is you recall balik the periodic table of element and then you ingat balik on chapter periodic table of elements uh, time semasa satu dulu. Okay, kita tahu kalau let's say... Uh, paling atas, paling kiri, paling hujung, paling kiri sekali, saiz dia uh, besar sikit tapi makin lama across the period, saiz makin mengecil. And then down the group, saiz makin membesar. Okay, kalau you tak tahulah. And also, uh, untuk faktor ionic charge, you keluarkanlah the charge MgO. Mg, you tahu charge Mg berapa? Mg kena Mg2 plus oxygen. Oksigen tu minus. Na2O pula, you ada Na plus dengan O2 minus. Okay, so sekarang ni, kenapa enthalpy lattice of MgO is more negative than enthalpy lattice of Na2O? Sebab kenapa? Sebab uh, Mg2 plus, actually dia punya size dia smaller daripada Na plus. Okay? Uh, and we know that Enthalpy lattice ni, okay, the relationships, we know that the relationships of the enthalpy lattice uh, dengan ionic radii is inversely proportional. Tapi kalau dengan ionic size is ionic size pula, ionic charge, ionic charge is directly proportional. Uh, so, Mg2+, plus, dia punya charge dia lagi tinggi daripada Na+, plus, which is 2, yang ni pula 1. Ionic radii and then Mg2+, plus ni pula, kalau ikutkan kat periodic table of elements, size dia smaller. Okay, therefore, we can conclude that since dia ada factor smaller in size and also bigger charge than Na+, plus, that's why enthalpy lattice of for MgO is greater than enthalpy lattice of Na2O.